turn to some prime money thing. So I'm Cindy Vivians. I've, I've spoken a couple of times before at challenges, so some of you may have heard my story and some of you might be hearing me for the first time. Uh, I've been coming to Max for a little over two years now. Uh, when I started, uh, I have uh, rheumatoid arthritis, and rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease. It causes inflammation throughout your entire body, causing you pain, stiffness, fatigue, uh, everything. It's an invisible disease, so I look fantastic, but I can tell you uh, on this particular day with the rain and fluctuations with weather, I'm in a lot of pain. I don't often tell anybody that I try not to. I focus on I'm here and I'm alive. But when I started, I was in so much pain, I couldn't really, in the morning of so much pain and stiffness, I would fall out of the bed. I really couldn't make it to the bathroom very well. I couldn't really rise myself up from a seated position very well. Uh, and I had become very sedentary in my life. Uh, instead of participating with my children and my family, I was on the sidelines. So I became so sedentary, I then became very depressed. I gained a lot of weight. It was a bad time in my life. Lost my job, my dog died. I mean, like I had it bad. My cousin's uh, wife, Michelle, came to Max and she met somebody who said that she knows someone who uh, has rheumatoid and joint and it improved for her. Well, at that point, I was desperate. My rheumatoid doctor had me on the highest level of uh, immune suppressant, which is a low dose chemotherapy pill, which no one wants to be on, <laughs> and self injections. He said to me, to help you, since you can't get up very well and you keep falling over, we can give you a cane. So I tried that. Problem is, you can't hold a cane very well when your hands hurt. So now I'm in a lot of trouble. I, I'm in pain, I'm falling down, and now I can't even use a cane to help myself. So I came here and I tried it, and very similar to Rosalind's experience, I came in and the first day I thought, well, this is, this is a bad mistake. I could barely do anything. Everything I'm doing is so modified. Everyone must be looking at me. Everybody must be judging me. And everybody knows how bad I am. And what am I gonna get out of this? I, I, can't, I can barely do anything. This is a waste of my time getting up so early in the morning. But I kept coming. And little by little, the smallest successes meant so much. A 20 second plank, doing jumping jacks for the first time, doing them for the first time throughout the entire warm up. Um, all of those things, feeling a little bit more secure, so instead of standing right there in that back as far away as possible, I pushed myself to stand right that's in front right. of the that's mirror, awesome. and that's why I stand that's there. Great. To push myself to do that. So little by little, it got a lot better, and then I realized my original goal was just to, to move, to not be so, uh, have so much pain and stiffness. Now, uh, I, didn't, I didn't count on the other things. I didn't realize how depressed I was that I feel fantastic now in my brain, that my self-worth and my self-confidence is through the roof. I had no idea that I, I didn't realize I was so worth it. Um, and the only reason why I went was so I could take care of my family. I didn't come for the motivation to do this for me. I thought I'm doing it for them. Uh, and that changed my, my whole outlook. I also, I just recently had my last physical and I'm down 29 pounds, which- Awesome, I awesome, not, awesome. I didn't even know I was so fat. No one told me. No one had told me. I just, I thought it was not so bad, but it was, it was a lot. And I can do almost everything now. Um, I still do some modifications. Uh, my 6 a.m. crew knows sometimes that I might do it slower. I might do it more modified. I might fall over sometimes. When there's someone new and I fall over and they go, oh, are you okay? Usually my crew in the corner says, she's fine, leave her alone, she's fine. <laughs> so I get up my own unique way, but um, I feel fantastic mentally, physically. I'm, I am 110% a different person than I was two years and three months ago. That's 110%. awesome. 110%.